Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Uh, in this video I'm going to work with collections and we're going to create a, like a blog website and for that let's open the control panel. So here I'm going to navigate the CP for the control panel and yeah, we need to log in. Okay, we have collections. By default we have the pages collection. So when we create a new Statamic website, we have this pages collection but let's create a new collection and I'm going to name it a uh, post okay the handle is going to be post or you can name it what you like I'm going to say create collection and we can uh, configure the collection like this click here so enable the publish dates and I'm going to enable so the publish dates can be used to schedule and expire content and as you can see here the public always visible listed r is, is going to be hidden from listings and private is going to be hidden from listings and the url is going to be 404 very good we can also enable the orderable sort ascending or descending slugs whether to display slugs in a tree view if you want you can enable that blueprints so entries in this collection may use any of these blueprints. I'm going to say post. Taxonomies, let's leave it for now. Uh, publish by default, yeah. I'm going to say publish by default. And templates is default, home, main, and layout. The layout is layout, or you can uh, choose something else. So for example, main. Routing and URLs. So for example, the route controls entire URL, we can say slash post and the slug. Okay. You can mount, so choose an entry on which the collection should be mounted. I'm going to leave it for now and I'm going to say just save this collection. Okay. Now this collection is saved. Let's go back. We have pages and we have posts. I'm going to go to post and I'm going to create a new entry. We have a title, content, author, and the template. Now, if you want to customize this, also as you can see, we have a date, the slug. Now, for example, if we want to add, uh, let's say, the thumbnail, let's go to post and I'm going to configure the blueprints. Okay, we have a title, the content, the author, and the template. Let's create a field which is going to be assets for the media. And I'm going to name it thumbnail. Okay. You can, the handle is thumbnail. Okay, max file size, I'm going to say just one. And uh, folder, if you want to add a folder, I think we are okay. Just apply this one. And the thumbnail is going to be, I'm going to move it right here. We have the content and the author. And I'm going to save this. Okay, now let's go to post again. And now let's create a new entry. Now we have here the thumbnail. So let's say, with the say first post now here we have the browser file we don't have any file so let's upload here a file first and i choose this file okay as you can see we can just say content goes here and here we have markdown as you can see for the template let's use the main template the slug is first post, matching the title, the date is the day, and I think we are good. I'm going to save and publish. Okay, now we have the first post, but what, where we can view, we can view on, on the URL we added, so on the collections. If I go back to collection, post collection, we can go to edit collection, and I think yeah, here on the or outing, I added the post slash post slash slug. For example, if I 
open let's open the website in a new tab and i'm going to change the url to be slash post slash and the title is first post if i open it, yeah here we have the first post and the content goes here good but let's go to pages and here i'm going to create a new page i'm going to create a new entry which is going to be named post or you can name it i'm going to name it blog so let's name blog something here template is going to be uh home or let's name let's choose the main template blog is going to be the slug i'm going to save and publish this one and let's move the blog right here i'm going to save changes very good okay now let's go to navigation because we have navigation we have the mind nav and here i'm going to add a new nav item i'm going to name it the blog and the url is going to be slash blog I'm going to submit this and let's move the block right here. I'm going to save the changes and now let's open the website and we have the home block here. Okay, now here we have the block, but let me just go back to block and I'm going to change the URL to b slash post okay submit i'm going to save the changes and now let's go back to the website let's go to home i'm going to refresh and if i click now to blog we are navigating to slash post so we have 404 page not found here now let's go to collection and go to pages let's go to blog page i'm going to change the slug to be posts here i'm going to save and published and now let's go here and just if i refresh now we have the block which points a slash post okay now here i'm going to render all of the posts i'm going to list the posts and how we can do that we thought we were going to work in the next video that's it all about this one how we can create a new collection i name it posts and just let me just uh, okay just let me edit this collection to be post like this okay save now we are okay so we created the collection and also i created a new block page and in this block i'm going to render all the posts now you can name it also here you can name this post if you want just to be more clear here is going to be post but of course you can name it blog no problem now that's it all about this video. What I wanted to show you in the next video, we are going to work with the the list, the all the posts. We are going to create some posts and list all the posts in this post page. Okay, friends. Now, if you like such a videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you.